that should be fairly straightforward. Do you have a sense of how many there are? You know, I don't. I don't know if our planners 26 do. Twenty-six something. I mean, it was some a great outrageous number. Yeah, the actual chapter topics. Right, but we need to ask all of the committees because they might be. Well, and working. you raise an early interesting point, which is maybe some of the committees were already planning on coordinating. I think it would be useful to hear from all committees if we're willing to show up. Well, I certainly don't want to close the door on any committees. Yeah. I, I agree. Um, so, Kim, were you part of the master plan development process previously? Mm -hmm. okay. Tina was our expert on that. I read about it in the newspapers. It's the USA Bob News and all the angular stuff. Yeah. It was pretty angry. Really? I guess I should be surprised. But there was a lot of collaboration, too, so, you know. Um, but we probably got a lot more committees now than we had then, even. So, in terms of the change, one of the things that happened there was they opened it up to the public. And so, up at, up at Vermont College, about 600 people showed up off and on and kind of prioritized what they thought were the important goals of the city. Mm -hmm. It was the proverbial sticky button, you know, colored colored markers thing. And um, so that's somewhat, you know, how the plan developed mm -hmm. out of that, according to when. So that, I took part in that, but that was the only part I, I was involved with. Okay. So it wasn't a proposal put out to the public, it was just everyone, come tell us what you care about in the city? Well, I think there were a series of meetings that where they kind of drew up a, a, a list of goals. Yep. And um, then what they wanted to know was what, what did the public think was important. And so that's when everyone showed up to public meetings and, and sort of voted on their top three or how, whatever it was in mm -hmm. terms of what was important to them. And so I think that just boiled down to the basic, the very large kind of um, uh, goals rather than the specific items. Although some of the specific strategies may have risen out of that because it wasn't just people voting, as I recall. I think people were writing in aspects of what they thought was important to. Mm -hmm. So that was more public input rather than committee input. Well, so at the last meeting we were discussing how we're going to involve the public um, early on in the process, but not so early on that we haven't heard from the committees yet. Yeah. Uh, and the, where we landed was that we would send out a survey to the public uh, using Front Porch Forum and other channels, web channels, at the same time that we invited the committees to come in for the, the kickoff meeting. Um, and then we would have potentially a bigger public meeting after that. We just kind of need to see how the kickoff meeting goes, and then we yeah. can develop our strategy from there. So I had originally drafted this letter with the idea of putting forward the process. We're going to have three meetings, and here's what the first one's going to accomplish. Here's what the second one's going to accomplish. Mm -hmm. And in our last meeting, we discussed how really we we don't have a firm idea of what each meeting should look like yet, so we should be a little more open-ended in our initial letter. Um, and the way that I've drafted this revision has a um, sort of a draft agenda that's very vague, but, or not vague, it's broad. It's broad. Or um, just saying that we would welcome everybody and talk about how we're going to go forward that evening. Um, then we would invite each committee to come up for a five minute presentation, and it will have to be very strict time right. limits because of the number of committees and we want to ensure we hear from everyone then we would talk about next steps from there and then everyone would be invited to stay for another hour so we have the space in the Montpelier High School Auditorium for three hours from six to nine um, and we could probably move that on either end 
the book ended. Oh, but six to nine. Mm -hmm. So we would have the meeting from six, six to eight, to eight and, then and then we would invite people to stay for another hour after if they want to socialize, and get to know one another. Providing refreshments. Well, our, yes. yeah, I'm what? trying to find out if we have any budget to do that. Um, otherwise, I might just take that line out of the letter. <laughs> Um, and we have somebody from the high school uh, doing uh, our audiovisual because they have a unique system, as I understand. It. Kirby is working on that. Oh, good. He was in contact with them about a projector, um, and I think that we would probably bring one from the city office over there. But he was working with Mike and the contact at the high school to iron out those details. Yeah, even the pavilion auditorium might have been tight if we get all the members of the 20 some committees. So. Leslie, all, each committee I don't think he got to all of them. Mm -hmm. I think he started that process, but I'm not. Well, I don't know. I mean, we need to. What it means to evolve, maintain. Yes. Yeah. That's a great idea. Sorry, I missed the last part. Yeah. You know? Well, he had an action. Well, but I think we wanted to stay. Maybe too soon for that. Yeah. But the action plan would come later. Right now, for this, we're just talking the three right. goals. But, but right, and and part of it is to meet with other committees that might have similar or dissimilar goals. Well, at least defend, you know, define the transform, uh, maintain, and uh, those three aspects so that we're kind of clear about that. Um, define them maybe if we did provide like an example and then possibly a little more context on the plan as a, as a whole. So that, you know, to clarify, this isn't like their only opportunity to say anything and then, you know, we're adopting a plan in September. Um, okay. Not to make them feel like they have to like try to cram everything into like three ideas and then they become so like meaningless and often. But, you know. And maybe, as Kim said, to make sure that they're clear that this meeting is allowing them the op their committee the opportunity to hear all of the other committee goals and see if there are common if there's common ground and I think I, I said something along those lines in the draft but maybe it wasn't clear enough if you weren't getting that out of it oh yeah so learn from each other's changed. interests I think in that case we can yeah yeah so we have that we So that's the challenge, is I wanted to have, as I said, it's where I, I try to 
present that idea, but um, the letter needs to be specific enough that mm -hmm. there's no questions really about what it is, or, or very few, but not so specific that we're locked into yeah. one method. And that's where I'm, I'm struggling a little bit. I like the capture. length because I read it. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's right. right. <laughs> Two letters would be a kind of technical planning letter. Maybe you could offer, uh, suggest at the end if they have questions about it that they could call you or Mike um, to clarify. Yeah. So, um, and I'd really like to have the letter be clear enough that that doesn't need to happen. Need to happen. Then, not, not just because I don't want to field phone calls, but because I think everyone else feels more confident about the process and they feel they understand it immediately. Yeah. Um, it's more transparent. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. planning speech in the beginning. Five minutes or less. Yeah. So, do you, are you going to attach something from Mike that gives those definitions? Well, if you think we should, I mean, this those is our terms. discussion for I tonight. Don't, yeah, I, mean, I didn't have any idea about that, um, but it sounds like there's some interest in that, and I'm open to it. Or just clarify, like, uh, like an example, or like where where are they going to send this, or what? Just clarifying maybe expectations. So it could be like a link to like here's here's an example of that. Is the butterflies and unicorns? <laughs> yeah, and then we'll give them the worst example. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't know. did you all? Or like, it? here's here's some uh, a link to some guidance on mm -hmm. uh, what it, uh, yeah, what those terms for. mean. Yeah. yeah. That's a good idea. That way, it and makes then we them can heavy. put it on the website that I'm still. I haven't received anything from Seth, but I can probably get, just get started on that without uh, that letter. Do we already have a document that provides some guidance? We can use those terms. the state one. Um, Mike, but I no, think Mike, like an actual one. Mike had, yeah, Mike defined had, those terms. Had a whole pitch. And yeah, yeah that's pitch. what I meant about the unicorns and butterflies, because that was his example. but. Maybe not get into that level of detail, but he definitely had something. He has it written up, so. Yeah. 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 I think he pulled it from the state planning manual, but either either way, when he had it, it was Yeah, I remember that. One. I just. When we first started talking about it, don't have it offhand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could just ask Mike to provide some very, or put something on the website that was short and concise. Because again, people won't read the whole thing if it's too, if it's too detailed. Yeah. So. Right. I don't think there's any avoiding that, though. I mean, I, I made the letter as concise as possible, and we have a lot of questions, so I made a link to send someone to some place where there's more info. I think we could have a little more detail there. Mm -hmm. <coughs> well, I hope the committee's a good one. This isn't their first introduction to what I think we're going to get the gamut. Yeah. Because certain committees like the Energy Committee, the Housing Committee, the Conservation Commission, they have very well developed ideas and perhaps even drafts in some cases and then we have other committees that I'm not sure have had a meeting with Mike from the sounds of what I recall him saying and what you recall him saying. <laughs> so, Or there might be committees that don't even necessarily understand what their place in the process would be, you know, that, as we said, if there are eight chapters and 26 committees, that, you know, some of these are overlapping or, so I'm sure there are people who will be totally un, un, uh, familiar with this. Yeah. 
Mike's right up with using unicorns or whatever. It's probably going to be the best. Yeah, I think so. To use for a couple of reasons. One, <clears throat> it's neutral. It's not some other committees. Right, so and yeah, and our goals are much too Mike's. specific for that. Yeah. Yes, I would argue some of the goals the energy committee has are actions that could go into no, a we've, broader. No, we've revised. Oh, okay. So now we have like three. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, there you go. But, you know, I think they're very broad, but that's fine. That's what he wants. But it doesn't talk about these necessarily, these particular. In those terms. Terms, yeah. Because um, most everything we have is going to evolve or transform. Mm -hmm. So we don't really have much to maintain. Anyway. I think that's fine. We maybe just communicate that. Like they could all be in. Yeah. yeah, it yeah. doesn't, and maybe that's something else I should add to the letter. I mean, it doesn't have you don't have to have one of each, right? Yeah, yeah I think like that's good. Think about it yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. Didn't like the guidance and explain that. Yeah, I think that would help. So I, I've I've changed the language from goals to interests. <sighs> it was that at Mike's easy request. For people, so it doesn't have to feel quite so concrete. Yeah. Yeah, and if you have a different term suggestion, I'd love to hear so, it. So That's goals just, I could do. Goals just felt too rigid to what was the I think part of our conversation was if you say it has to be a goal and they'll be looking for okay, what exactly is the language of a goal instead of just what are the ideas that we're trying to get across and then we can craft them into making sure they all match there. Bring as them together the for maybe combined goals and things like that. Yeah. And, um are we asking them to email them ahead of time so they can put them on slides? Or? We can. That would be a good way to make sure that they have, yeah. instead of just standing up and talking for five minutes, that they have enough information on the concrete three So we'll put together PowerPoints even put, if they don't have them. Yeah, yeah we that's can put together good. a program that's just one slide for each group that submits it ahead of time. Is so what do you want the content of the email to have the, the three interests that they've identified? Or just... Yeah, your three interests bulleted yeah. to send back to Mike or maybe No, well, um, yeah, I mean... Um, and then have... We can put it on the slide show. Actually, we'll Stephanie, if you wouldn't mind being in charge of that, I think that would be That's helpful. Um, Leslie, you actually yeah, you can have them email me, and I'll just forward them so that you don't. Have to. <laughs> yeah, whatever's easier. You use the word aspects, three aspects of the city, not interests. Later, I say interests. Oh, okay. So, do we need to clarify that these three aspects of the city are related to their committee, or you, you tell don't me? Have to be, but yeah. If you. It'd be nice if, if they were. Yeah, if you're from submitting the perspective something. Of your committee. From the perspective of your committee, yeah. 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 Something like that. That they will yeah. I think that's implied. All right. Yeah, they did a good that. If they send you something really like this, the housing committee sends you something. Yeah, if the housing committee is interested in I don't know. Uh, housing is gonna have trouble with three. Is telling. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um Okay, so here are the revisions I'm hearing I need to make. One, make sure that it's clear that the point of the meeting not, is not just like a, a side benefit, but the actual point is for everybody to hear everyone else. Um, I'm going to provide a link to a, some guidance on what the terms evolve, transform, maintain mean. Um, and we'll ask Mike to provide that, and that'll feed into the or website that John is developing. And we're going to ask for emails in advance. I don't know. The week in advance. A week in advance, so we'll get them three days in advance. Or yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, or the night before. I think even if it's right before, it should be fine. I think giving them a deadline helps that we probably yeah. don't do so, it. Right. <laughs> Five right. days. Yeah, something. Know. I'll put it. I'll put a date deadline. Yeah, that would be there. great. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, we have it, uh, the meeting scheduled for July 23rd, so maybe like the 18th or something. Um, then, anything else? So, is the link That's to it. that website the unicorn and I forget what the example is. Does it have that in it? Rain yeah, rainbows we'll, and unicorns. We'll oh, it does. It yeah, does have it in there. Okay. Any other like, like context about the, the Okay. I'm not clear if that was just definitions or if they had the examples, because I think the example is helpful. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ideally, we're just going to get one of the three things that your community cares about the most. Yeah. To some degree, and then we can go from there. Right, right. So. But it's good to put them within the context of the language we were hoping to use. Okay. So we'll make these changes, and then if, if everyone's okay, we can just send this out. I think we could probably have it hung over this draft a long time. So. Right. Leslie? Drafting letters by committee. I know. Yeah, it's tough. It is. What do you say? Camels, a horse. I'm sure we can trust you. Is there a word left out on number three? Maybe. I don't know. Planning Commission will discuss next steps and future all. Should it say all future? No. Future all committee meetings, but maybe I can word that a little better. What is it tr trying to any, say? Any more meetings that all committees are invited to. Okay. Maybe an, just any future. I could just take off that and blah, blah, blah. Just say, the Command and Commi Planning Commission will discuss next steps, period. <laughs> next steps, right. I think that's good, yeah. We don't want to them to get overwhelmed thinking we're going to rope them well, in. I, well, I want them to know they're not off the hook yet, but we'll right. say that, I guess, at the Yeah, meeting. they still have to write their sections, so. And that's a good moment for us to explain to them <laughs> what it is that we still Yeah. Yeah. Right, and we'll have to talk about that before, before we get to that we'll meeting. To, yeah, have um. My minor change. Okay. I don't like passing through stuff. Thank you. I always try. I strive to avoid it, but it sneaks its way in. My word actually comes up, pops up every time, flags it. A lot. We could lie when you the meeting. We could have all nine Senate candidates give us three minutes. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, you are right. Yes, it's true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we could ask them all to attend so that they can hear from all the committees at once. We could have things if they don't attend, but that's so I mean, is anybody else going to be notified of this meeting other than the committees? Is it going to be? Well, public meetings law, I think, yeah. um, dictates that this meeting will be open to the public. Which means it has to be posted, warned? I assume so, yeah. But we'll let Mike handle that, which he does anyway. Yeah. Well, I know, I mean, we're posting, the, I mean, I think the intent is that this, letter will be posted on the city website and easy for everyone to access and be informed of. The public is always welcome to come to this meeting, but I don't think that we can take public comment at the meeting because it's just too tight of a timeline. I mean, right. Yeah. You know, people yeah. can submit comments anytime they want and yeah. attend our but meetings anytime they want. And we'll, we letters. will involve the public in this process. Um, but first, we just need to hear the universe of, of concerns that we're dealing with from the committees. And then we can, I think we can get some public perspective on that after that. And the idea is that doing that survey at the same time will give us that information from the start from the public as well in a way that's a little bit more manageable to digest. And it focuses the discussion because if you send a survey out, then you get answers to the five questions that you, you put out there. How open-ended do you imagine the questions to be in terms of list the three things you think are most important to the yeah, city? That could be pretty open-ended. Right. So I had promised that I would draft something, and mm -hmm. I did not because the last month of my life I ended up getting a little crazy. 
But we lose momentum when we don't meet it as often. Well, I, yeah. I took two random trips back to Wisconsin that were not intended. Um, but we I, didn't even discuss what it would include, if, so it's unfair for you to really. Well, so if I think if we have ideas on that now, I can cross them. Yeah. But I, we talked about it as a public survey, and I don't think we got too far past that. Yeah. I mean, is there some way to aggregate if they um, gave us three things that they think are most important, and everybody's items are totally different. Is there some way to aggregate those without having to go through it manually? What if we I'm use, assuming there is. What if we use the topics that, the statutory topics that we have to cover as our guidance? Mm -hmm. No, you don't like that idea? Mm -hmm. Like under each category, like in natural resources? Yeah. Whatever. Give us another Why idea not? then. That's, you can't just no, be a naysay. Like, you gotta... No, I like, I like just uh, being as open-ended as possible. Okay. That way you get people really focusing, I think, on their, what their actual priorities are rather than, than trying to fit things into a box that they think they have to fit okay. into. Okay, yeah. Because <clears throat> then you can think more, like, holistically. And then whatever you say might, one person might think, like, oh, that sounds like more of, like, a housing than an energy goal or mm -hmm. whichever, but we, we don't need to, like, worry about Yeah, it's just putting them Chatting together voice. into a document afterwards that's, that's useful. It just takes a little Chatting more time. Chatting in the sense of <laughs> this meeting is coming out the public's inviting that we're not expecting a public input at this time because... Yeah, that's... Just so be clarified. Yeah. Very short thing that this... Public so will have an opportunity in other ways or later or something. I think the city is just... So is the, the answer happen like select the different topics that no. are relevant? So it's another question that it responds to Right, we, we can list like transportation passing, etc. and then they can just like So they click one and then comment under that? Or they put their idea and then they can just click on whatever topic list we have if we feel like we need to read them. And then you could put more than one. So I'm confused. Are you saying that they would have three open-ended items, and then what they would click on each of the of uh, the chapters? How does that work? Right. You could answer it, answer one question, and then it says, you know, which topics do these does this answer relate to, and then they can select from a menu of topics. It's somewhat similar to. Doing, I mean, it's either do it that way or, or, or give them the t list of topics and then ask them to respond right. within it. So it, maybe it's a matter of formatting in terms of, but having done one of these by hand in terms of taking comments, um, any way you can get the, the survey to do it for you, it's going to be helpful. Well, if it's online, it makes sense better. That's true. <laughs> that is true, yeah. We don't have to type it up, but either way, we're going to have to go through them. So it might be, it might not be necessary. If we say, we could ask the transform and maintain it and evolve question and be really broad and just see what we get. Yeah. You have a definition, an example of what it, it. of transform, and then you ask a question about it, and the same concept for the other two. So it's a moment to teach them about that also. Mm -hmm. So what's the end result with the survey? Like, do we look at it, or what's the process after we get all these comments? Or I, I think the process is it helps inform our discussion. Okay. Yeah. And I think as the entity that's going to be combining what other groups are doing, if everyone really cares about parking, which is <laughs> if that's the thing people really care about, then that helps us prioritize between committees to some degree also. There are clear things that rise to the top. If we kind of tar uh, move them towards the idea of maintain, transform, um, maybe that will get them away from single item complaints. Yeah. 
that kind of thing or an issue that they're so focused yeah. on right now because it's in the news. Um, yeah, I think to this get... This can help us prioritize. Yeah. Because the committees each have their own interests and they live in those worlds and we're going to hear equally from all of them. So to really know where we should be prioritizing, if there are conflicts that the public input will mm -hmm. be really critical. I mean, we'll get, we'll get message from the public that we can bring to city council and then city council can help direct our yeah. priorities. So I hate to say this, Leslie, but do you, if you're going to add something in the letter about the public comment, do you want to note that there's a survey? Do you want to I, talk about the survey? I don't think I did put anything in there about public comment. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were just writing some notes about it. That no, that would be a front porch forum posting. Yeah, I mean, I just think that it'd be good to um, notify the committees, too, that this public forum is, is there. I think that the initial kickoff of the process at that meeting could be a good way to do that. Okay. Just recognize um, that not everyone's going to see the front porch forum posting. No, I understand that. I'm just saying that when we have everybody in the room together in the high school auditorium, mm -hmm. we can say, hi, my name is Leslie Welts, <laughs> and here's, First. here's the loose concept for the entire process, and this is the beginning of that process. Mm -hmm. We are simultaneously seeking public comment that here is Avenue. May have seen a posting on Front Porch Forum about that. If not, you know, go check it out. And it'll be on the city website. Well, I think I mean John. John's going to be working with Seth, the IT person here, to create a website where we can have all of our working documents, and each committee will have a page where they have all their working documents. Or, I mean, it'll, it'll take whatever it'll form it dogs. takes, but the mm -hmm. concept the concept is that it will be a transparent process. Um, so we'll have, we'll have, whether it's, it'll be some sort of cloud-based website. And, and the thought is that we can put things like this on there. People can access the survey there. Right, I guess I'm just saying that in order to let people know, mm -hmm. the, let the public know that yeah. this is something that we're requesting, um, it, my, it needs to go on the on the um, city website. Yes, as, yeah. uh, and any other venues we have. Um, I wouldn't mind that, Barbara. Once the cat's out of the bag, and I'll be screaming for the city. The words will get out. Well, I mean, I think that the website that we have for our working documents is going to be linked from the city's website. No, I know, but I mean, pe people visit the city website to, you know, just to find out what's going on in the city. And so they'll be able to see right uh, as as an announcement or what, however it is that they I can't remember how they yeah. format it. Well, we can that, nail down all of those details once we know what we want the survey to mm -hmm. deal with. I mean, that's what I'm. I want. I don't want to get the details too far of the okay. focus, and I really want. I mean, the concept of what what do we want to do in the survey, and what do we want to get out of it, or. You and I can talk. No, I know. I just yes. Separately. Well, you sure mentioned that it would things. go out on front porch forum at the same time as this committee meeting happening. So we I just want to make sure we aren't limiting our options. Yeah. So um, front porch forum's got a link somewhere, and my thought was that the link would be to the city web page, <laughs> or I guess I don't know. We, we can iron out those logistics. Well, we we've, we've done it before in terms of getting public comment. I'm just concerned because during the zoning process, there were many people who said they never knew about it. And so... Well, it's be the same number of people saying that like this. Again, right. But the opportunity count is to not have that happen. Say, I everybody don't think knows. we can avoid it. I think we were <laughs> very public with the zoning process. Everything was on the city's webpage. There were, I mean, there were articles in the newspapers like, all the time. I mean, the fact of the matter is I didn't think they really gave it. And their neighbor said, hey, have you heard? Yeah. And then they said, oh, I didn't know anything about this. Yeah, right, right. Well, now they might be more tuned in to what's happening. I know it's going to be the same story. But well, we'll say, I mean, uh, when we post the survey, it'll include, it's also an introduction to, hey, guys, we're doing this. Yeah, I would. Please look for our meetings. And I would it, say. I think it'll percolate. Yeah. A lot of I would say that I, in my experience at A&R, 
running public meetings, it, you don't get input from anybody until they think you're actually moving forward with the proposal. So in the early stages when it's draft form, you really don't get much input. And then you say, okay, we're moving forward now. And people are like, well, hold on, I haven't looked at this. And, you know, I've given you a lot of opportunity. Like, well, I didn't know you were actually going to do it. <laughs> they, they don't want to waste their time until they know that something has legs. So we can't avoid that. It's going to happen. I don't I think... think when we post it, I think it's, there's a way to be careful in our language where we're trying to get people interested now. Absolutely. And and being very upfront about, this is happening, we're, it's, this survey will help us prioritize these things, and it's going to be what ends up in our plan. And that's going to that's be what influences the next round of zoning updates. Well, there's a lot of people, including myself, when this started, that had no idea why we care about a city plan. What effect does it have? How will it really affect me? It's just a bunch of bureaucrats sitting around the table. Mm -hmm. Something really going to happen as a result of this. And that's fairly subtle. I tell people that it might have some impact on development, it might have some impact on transportation in ways that, that we don't know yet. So. Seems pretty major to set priorities for a city. In my mind. Right, and the idea is that eventually these will be action items and things will get done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. But anytime we're posting anything, it's an opportunity to educate people on what this means. I like that attitude. So, I will revise this letter, and once I get a list of the committees that we need to invite, um, I will, I'll just send it out. And I'd like to do that soon. The meeting's the 23rd, so the sooner we can get it out, the better. I, so this week, this week is the goal. Um, I think we don't need to, maybe, Stephanie, if you're, if, if you still have things happening in your personal life that, okay. Okay, because we can reassign yeah, I'll, tasks. I'll, I'll start the, I'll draft it and then I think I'll send it to you. And then we can talk about it at our next meeting. I don't think that has to go out right now. Okay. Um, but we should talk about it at the next meeting and then aim to have that out. I don't know. Maybe early July. Do we want that to go out before the meeting, the kickoff meeting? I suppose then, if the public has some issue, they could talk to somebody they know in the committee and make sure on a particular committee. Yeah, okay. okay. Um, so that means that, I guess before the letter goes out, we need to make sure that the website has, we have a website, and that the website has the guidance document and stuff. So it will require a little work for me this week. That's workable. Anything else on the city plan process for now? It's ever evolving. Okay. Well, let's move to the next item on our agenda. Item six, receive punch list of zoning fixes and begin review. So we don't have our printout, so I don't think we can actually go through. Um, but John, do you? Have it pulled up on your screen. Yeah, there's uh, 43 plus another seven. So it looks like there's 50 of them. And it's not going to be easy to go through. Because there are things like strike the information bullet under 1004. Okay, uh, so we don't know what that is without right, Mike. Right. It'll be a lot of like. Mike's, um, what's, cause do we? Did everyone bring their zoning ordinances? I, I brought mine, but it's. Uh, it may not be post right. up to date, and I can't. I can't download that documents too big on my phone. So Mike said, 
Yeah, you don't need to review like them, but it'll be good to have them for the 25th. Okay, he says yeah. you don't need to review them tonight, but it'll be good to have them for the 25th. Um, Could I ask him to send them out to us? Um, or were they attached to that? They with were the, the current? Yeah, yeah, so yes, yeah, they we could read So through. We'll, we'll go through them at the next meeting, but obviously we've got some work to do. So everyone, I think, should take a look at them before the 25th so that we can be quick. Um, I guess what I'll ask is take a look at them, and at the 25th we'll deem whatever Mike's suggestion is approved unless somebody has a concern. So I want to be efficient. It'll be like a consent agenda. Is that good? Um, because then we want to talk about the survey and right. you know, some of the things, I mean, based on what happened with the zoning matrices, we may need some clarification from Mike um, in terms of what he's proposing. And it could be fine. It's okay. just a matter of clarification. Yeah. When, so when just their next meeting? The 25th. Yeah, so just flag those items, Barb, if you need more clarification. that you know, That's a concern worth raising. And then the minutes, I... I don't know. Did he send out I the minutes? I was just looking for those. I didn't see them as an attachment. It was in the first email you sent, maybe. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. Sometimes the agenda has a link to them. But it, there isn't one there, so we'll 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 table that till the twenty fifth as well. Um, I was just curious because I missed the last meeting. What the feedback from the city council was? Did you guys talk about that at the last meeting, or oh. if there was any feedback yeah. from? Yeah, we did. Um, the city council was very excited about our proposal to have an all committees meeting, okay. and they're eager for us to move forward on the city plan process and use that as our way to kick it off. They were, the mayor uh, pressed the need to make sure we're involving the public all the way through. Um, so that's part of what drove our desire to kind of receive some public input in a way that could be manageable this early on in the process yeah. because our report was well taken. Um, and they expressed, they, they said that they would discuss prioritizing staff resources at mm. their retreat. Oh, okay. That's great. And I haven't heard anything on that, but I'm sure Mike has. When so. was their retreat? Is this stuff behind? Is that theirs? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. There's, there's the retreat. <laughs> there's, yes. That looks like a retreat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I, I yeah. I wish there was a big block there that said city plan. <laughs> right. Go, go yeah, ahead. Right. But, um, <laughs> or we have resources. Mike's going to spend all of his time. You know, I think, I mean, Mike has expressed. As the city plan. <laughs> Mike has expressed concern about his staff's ability to handle all of the various priorities of the city, of the, of the city council, really. So I think that the more we can do as individuals on the planning commission to help move things forward and the more we can put on our committees to give us product that we can feed into a city plan I think the smoother this process is going to be we're going to need Mike's guidance obviously but I think if we can get his guidance and convey clear expectations to oh, the other committees it's really going to help move things forward um, Previously, we've really relied on Mike to manage everything, um, but I think there's enough of us here that we can each do a task here or there. I mean, ultimately, the wording, I think a lot of the language Mike's going to want to be editing. Absolutely, in, so. yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why we're using this, we're using his language in the letter, right. in the kickoff meeting, so that we can, we can have a product that's workable for him early on. But, I mean, I, I've been gradually asking each of us to do a little bit more, and I, I, I foresee this process as requiring a little bit more work than we had done in the past. And I, I don't know if um, the prior, I mean, Kim worked with the prior 
director of planning, and I don't know if, if she liked doing all all of the tasks, or I don't know. But I think we're in a situation here where we can do more of the work than we could do with the zoning. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it takes a lot of time. I know I sent the letter draft around kind of late. That's so why we have to meet every two weeks and keep <laughs> yeah. right. going. Right, right. Even if they're short meetings, like I, tonight's is going to be a short meeting. No matter what holiday they fall on, we need to keep meeting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I think, the, I think that the city council meeting went well. Um, it yeah. was really helpful. We have, we do have a new zoning administrator oh. who is working. She's part-time, not half-time, but a little more than half-time, maybe 80% time. Eight tenths, I think, yeah. yeah. So oh, that's, cool. that's going to be helpful, too. Yeah. So. I think, yeah. And then, I don't know if we have any updates on historic preservation, but it sounded like there were no new updates on that. No, um, Kim's seen the draft, right? Well, um, I'm trying to send stuff to Barbara's. This is going on. <laughs> <laughs> then we can share. I don't know where they are exactly. They, they did a draft. Indicated I didn't like it. it had words like reference, respect, or appropriate address, or anything sensitive, incompatible, harmful, physical. That's their language. It's, it's it going to be an uphill battle to I get said, them to remove I those. Said, this isn't going to fly. <laughs> I, I think if, you're right, but. If you've got a regulatory document, you've got to define these things. Is this yeah, a I draft for the? It's a draft for the design review. Okay. okay. And I, is it is it the language that would go in the bylaws, or the language that would be the guidance reference? Well, I've been assuming it's the guidance. I think they have a Are they still working with their consultant? Do you know? They still have time left with him? I don't know. Because there was the consultant was going to help them, I thought. I would imagine the guidelines. they would still yeah. have time. But. I thought it was through the summer. There wasn't a lot of money. So. There wasn't a lot of money, that's yeah. right. And so his, and he's already, he attended one or two meetings. Anyway. Well, he came up with those grads. this committee. I'll never pass the city council. It was too vague and aspirational. So is that intended to be a starting point? Is so that to get to the more detail? Well, that was yeah. what I had first okay. thing to do. So they weren't just not the very No, I don't know. I missed the meeting for 20 seconds. Okay, great. Yeah, I'll, t I'll take a look at it right away. Okay. Any other questions, comments? Okay. We will table items six and seven for our next meeting, which will be on June 25th, 5.30 in this room. And in the meantime, John's going to work on the website. I'm going to work on the letter. 
Stephanie's going to work on a survey, and Kim's going to keep on the historical preservation. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that leaves us in our last item, which is adjournment. Do I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Yes. Okay. Second. I'll second. I, yeah, I thought you made the motion. No, he made the motion. Okay. I got to make a note of this. So Kim moved. <laughs> Barb seconded. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Okay. And we are adjourned. Thank you very much, everybody. <laughs>